Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. So today I'm going to get, you know, film a get ready with me because I thought, why not? And um, the thing was, I wanted to start a, you know, live stream, but apparently it takes 24 hours to be, to have that activated via YouTube. And also when I tried to do that via my mobile phone, it didn't let me, it says my, can my, my channel, sorry, my channel doesn't, um, you know, fulfill the, requirements and so on so we will see anyway i can do the little shorts so that's fine so i hope you have all a lovely day if you are here for the first time my name is turner welcome to my beauty verse i am a german expert living in the netherlands uh working in a regular job but being also a part-time makeup artist or aspiring to be a makeup artist and i started my youtube channel because i have too much makeup but also because i was like okay i need to you know have some kind of hobby or you know focus uh, with regards to you know how to use my makeup and what to do with it and so on you know of course you can use makeup but again you know if i think i get most of my you know most of it if i you know put them in project planning and that's why I started also the channel because I, w I watched a lot of YouTube videos about project planning and I was like, okay, this is a challenge that I want to do, you know, also put myself into and I was like, or face this kind of challenges and I was like, okay, let's do that and that I started it and since this year, April, I'm, uh, you know, a YouTuber, not, not really a big YouTuber, but still I got some, you know, followers or subscribers, thank you very much for that and Anyway, I thought today I'm going to do a get ready with me. I wanted to do it live, but I cannot do it. So it doesn't matter then with that. And um, what will I start with? You know, for example, I, in the beginning when I was like uh, doing my makeup, in, I was, I said, I will never fill in my eyebrows. But for now I decided I, I fill always this area here, the beginning of the eyebrows, because I can see that it's already thinning out as well as I get some white hair. So you know i just do that these days and i got um my anastasia what is it brow definer in dark brown you know because i have dark brown hair or blackish hair and i'm doing that just give it a good you know comb through and then get started so let's see not sure what are you guys doing I um, actually, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm working regularly, but also, you know, when I have time on the weekend, I try to film YouTube videos, also give you regular updates about the, you know, about the status of my project planning. And um, I know in two weeks is Thanksgiving as well as Black Friday and so on. And I decided to go to New York, so not sure how that will work. I mean, of course I will go, but um i will be in chinatown um or staying in a hotel in chinatown so for some days and also in december it's my birthday so i thought you know what um i didn't have a chance to travel long distance usually not usually but you know if i have a chance i go abroad uh, you know and i try to be far away as possible so this last year i mean in 2020 i was at the beginning before everything started I was in Thailand in January, you know, and then I came back and then in March we, you know, my company said, you know what, the pandemic is taking over here. So you have to stay home. So, and I'm, I'm working since then from home, but of course now the situation has changed. Uh, you know, we could go in between, we could do some travels and so on. Now it's, uh, you know, for three weeks now we will have again, uh, stricter lockdowns, uh, conditions. So we will see, we will see anyway. Um, it will be interesting for the, you know, in two weeks time. Yeah, 26, I will be flying out and then returning on the 3rd or 4th, actually, on the, on the Saturday of December. And then, yeah, I think I will enjoy my time in the U.S. so far, or in New York, actually. Um, what else I'm doing? Ah, okay, I'm going to, you know, use... Um, I don't know which uh, concealer it is because I cut actually the concealer part, but I have a lot of, you know, uh, makeup samples in my project Turn and Burn. And I thought I am going to use, you know, these makeup samples. So 
what I will do is now I will just carve out my eyebrows so this is just I mean, I could do it also off camera because it's not a big step, but I thought, you know what, let me do it. It will be okay. So, uh, I, I have never been into the habit of, you know, over plucking my eyebrows. To be honest with you, you know, they are always this big. And I mean, I'm always honest with you, but you know, it's just a saying. So, um, you know, I never over plucked it, so th this is the natural state of them. I mean, of course, um, they are, you know, in a certain shape because, I mean, if they are not plucked or not well maintained, you they would be actually thicker. But for now, they are this size, so I'm happy with that because I don't need to, you know, just waste waste too much time I mean I, I try to be quick sometimes but I try also be you know um, take care of my time you know, in that sense so what else I will do so I'm actually testing out new makeup brushes this is from a company it's called Egg Show A E I G Show and I got um, you know I got um, them to know via a YouTube channel of makeup by McKenna because uh, she's a makeup artist also, also on the smaller side but she's doing a lot of you know professional wedding, uh, wedding bridal makeup and so on and I started watching her and I really like her comments so I will leave, leave a link to her channel as well down below so and she had a discount code and I was like oh these brushes look amazing and I do you know and they're not that expensive I think for an 11 piece eye makeup uh, eye brush uh, said it was like 18 euros or 16 euros something like that so it's 18 dollars or so and they are really nice I mean you know if you look at the color and the size because I have sometimes a problem the makeup brushes sometimes are too big for my eye sockets especially for the you know for the crease area and I cannot you know and I have to really f yeah kind of you know fimble around just to get them in just to you know get some kind of you know color in so anyway what else oh I will start with my eyes I think so I am using right now the Urban Decay primer potion so you know this is a beast that you cannot kill in, in that sense because it is giving and giving and giving even though I don't like the packaging because after a while there's nothing left or you really have to press, press, press to get it out. And I'm like, oh, I don't have the time for that one. I mean, who has time for it? It's, except if you have, you know, really the time and you take your time just to, you know, apply makeup. But sometimes, you know, I do it. Uh, I apply my makeup, let's say, at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock during my lunch break because I was like, I couldn't be bothered in the early in the morning then I'm not in the mood to do it. And then I'm like in between, I'm like, oh, now I have the time. And then I t really take my time to do it. And then it's fun, you know, to apply it. But um, so not sure uh, where I was going with that. But still, you know, you will take it. I think <laughs> we, whoever wants to sit through that, you know, will take it. So let's get into this one. I am actually just taking one of my sleek palettes, which I have. It's number two. It's called also Special 658. And I'm just, you know, applying this neutral color onto my, to set my, you know, eye primer. I'm just applying it on my lid. And so I'm going, just going to take this color, uh, this brush very quickly. So I had these makeup brushes for a long time, but I was like, oh, I... You know, I wanted to do that on camera, just open them and test them out. And this is now the opportunity to do that, actually. So. What else? Yeah, right now, I don't know if, what is this? In, currently, I'm actually also 
right now very much interested in you know in Vietnamese music I don't know if you ever listen to Vietnamese music or Vietnamese rap music but I found you know I was clicking through YouTube because I don't have a TV uh, you know on purpose I don't have a TV and the only let's say media that I consume in with that regards is actually YouTube videos um, Netflix and you know, of course, I read newspapers, online news mag papers, and so on. But I don't bother, you know, to have a news channel or have a TV and you know subscribe to Sky or whatever or buy you know TV licenses just to watch. Because I noticed, you know, uh, throughout the years that I'm around here on this planet, um, that there, this, you know, the all all the channels are showing the same. Or they are literally showing the same because I lived in um, in South Korea. Of course, at that time I didn't have a TV. I was only watching YouTube because you know to improve my language skills and so on. And um, when I w was living in the UK, I um, saw also you know the TV channels are the same or um, the content of it is the same. So it doesn't make a difference for me, you know, or make it doesn't make a point for me um, to have you know, to watch TV and then have the same TV shows in Germany and in the Netherlands, in the UK, you know, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me to watch always the same stuff, you know, because either, of course, in, in some cases you have the German dubbing because the Germans, um, they usually dub things or they usually um, do the, not usually, but sometimes they do, of course, subtitles in the Netherlands, I saw now on TV, they actually show most of the time the same TV shows, let's say Real Housewives of whatever city and so on, but then with with subtitles and uh, yeah, and of course also some movies they show with subtitles and not with dubbing. And for me, you know, I got used to it that I always watch anything you know in the original language with subtitles um in germany of course when i grew up the germans as i said the habit is more like you know to dub everything so meaning german actors are voice acting and you are you know you for the voices of the actors in real life are totally different for example somebody can have a dark voice you know or really low voice a low pitched voice and then in uh, you know uh, the german voice actor or actor actually who is dubbing him has a real you know higher uh, voice i don't know how to high pi higher pitched voice for example so which is very very you know interesting when you are confronted then with for example with the real voice and you're like oh my god <laughs> it's totally different from the original voice what happened you know here so it's funny it's funny so um anyway what I did was now, if you are wondering, I just used uh, the dark matte color in the violets by Juvia's uh, place because I just, you know, applied it in to the outer corner and now I'm just trying to blend it. So. I know when I was in the US and um, I had my iPad with me, I could watch some of the Netflix TV shows and I saw that the Netflix catalog of course, in the U.S. it's different because of the different licensing agreements, etc., etc. And it was like, oh, okay, you can watch this here, you can watch that here. Of course, in the U.K. it's, just, it's also, in every country it's a different thing. You know, some TV shows, let's say The Walking Dead and so on, they are in the U.K. in Sky packages, you know, Sky box sets. And then um, they are not, of course, not shown on Netflix, for example. Whereas in the Netherlands right now, when I want to... Um, I mean, I can see, for example, The Walking Dead on Netflix, interestingly enough, you know, so. I know a lot of people started to watch uh, the TV show Squid Games, you know. And I was tempted to watch it as well because of the hype. But then I was like, okay, my, you know, my experience is always when something is hyped, you know, the hype is 
it's just it's exaggeration because sometimes the quality is not that good or you know the the elements of the tv show for example are always um are already you know used in other tv shows so it doesn't make you know it doesn't make a difference for me to watch it for example uh, Breaking Bad. I know a lot of people love Breaking Bad, but I was like, I want to put those two guys, you know, in uh, couple therapy and have them work it out through everything because I was like so annoyed, you know. Here, Walter was saying to what is it? His former students, stay put, don't move. And what does the former student do? He goes and does the stupid stuff with another big boss, you know. And then, so, and I was like, why, why, you know? And it's so much of annoyance and if i'm annoyed watching a tv show it's not worth it in my opinion of course everybody's different you know some of you guys might say no that was the best part of the movie uh, of the tv show and so on and i'm like no for me it wasn't i mean i was more and more frustrated i was like what is going on there why can't you know they work it out of speak it out and i was like you know i understand that's the whole plot of the tv show but for me it was like oh god i don't want to you know, and I had the feeling that it's, you know, it went worse and worse throughout the seasons. So for me, it was not that like, you know, I really want to watch it and be like, yeah, be, uh, yeah, watching it. And I gave up. Um, so, but for me, it's also something like this. If I watch a TV show, let's say two, three years after it had his, its high, so to say, you know, after it, uh, it kind of survived the hype. I am happy about it, you know. I'm like, oh, I I now understand the hype around it. But, you know, if I, as I said, if I watch it at this moment and I'm like, okay, and it's not, you know, I, I really don't feel the hype for it. I'm like, mm -mm, not worth my time. Not, I don't, you know, I don't uh, enjoy it. But uh, if I watch it, after it's you know it's uh, as i said after it's high or so i'm really happy about you know discovering this kind of tv shows and i'm like yeah it's it was worth the wait but you know so let's see i'm just going to blend this one out is it this one that i used before yeah What else? Any TV shows that you can recommend? Please leave them in the comments down below. It could be, a, you know, even if it's the strangest of TV shows that you can recommend, would be fine with me, you know. Except, as I said, if I, it's a mainstream, you know, TV show and a lot of people like it at this moment, I'm not really into it. And what else? Um, same with. <laughs> now i'm going to be you know really stoned um the same with house uh, with game of thrones you know the the concept of it it's not new you know the clashing families and the dynasties different dynasties are are fighting for power of course it's not new so i don't you know i don't see then how is it better from the other one you know from the other stories if it's you know Maybe I'm I'm sim too simple-minded then in that regards, but I'm like, uh huh, and that's that's the hype about it. So, not sure where I'm going with this look. To be honest with you guys, but I'm just putting it on, and I'm like, okay, it is, you know, it's going to be interesting for me to see the look actually. Um, what else am I going to use? I'm going to use eyeliner. Let's go. I'm going to clean up the edges here, so if you if you are seeing it, I'm just going to clean it up later on. But what else? Yeah, <sighs> I just want to go travel these days. I'm really into traveling, or you know, just enjoy myself somewhere else. I mean, what are your plans? Where are you located? Where are you going to travel? Just let me know. I'm going to apply the eyeliner very thinly, or try to. Mm 
So what else? I forgot the lash color. I forgot actually also I think yeah I forgot also the mascara that's really good of me but it is fine as it is I can just apply it off camera so and then I'm going to post a picture anyway or make a little short video what else if you sorry if you see this one it is because I had the month uh, no the time of the month and especially when I have that one before before I get it I have hormonal ac acne so I don't know why it developed like that but I didn't have this issue before you know so I mean with age you know wisdom comes beauty comes but also this kind of little annoying stuff comes or happens so and I cannot help it so what else um, are you already shopping for Black Friday I know I, I post a lot of videos or little shorts about Black Friday but uh, you know all the companies are right now putting it out there you know and I think uh, I don't know I mean for me it's like this if I see a sale and I think it's worth to inform you guys I do that of course it can be that some people are like annoyed by that and they are saying oh you know too many little shorts and we get the notifications about it every time and I'm like yeah but you know it, some of those shorts may be interesting you know for other people but not for you I understand that um you know but I think it's it's interesting to you know to see these little shorts um they can save you some money I mean you know for me it's like uh, again I don't try to buy you know things when they are you know launching I try to buy them uh, let's say if they are not limited edition I try to buy them at a later time you know because why should I spend that much money if I can have it later on on a, uh, at a sale you know so but I know some people um, they of course some people just you know they want to have it immediately I understand that as well but for me it's like no it's not worth it to buy it on sale especially in my video when I when I showed you my video about Kiko Milano uh, you know why is it worth it to wait with Kiko Milano I think that was really a success because uh, I had a lot of high views on it and um, I think you know it's just it's just fair to to say you know to the people look wait wait some more before you go out and buy because everybody's working for their money and hard-earned money and you know and as a youtuber or I think it would be nice if some people not only go about you know oh this is a super color this is a super you know consistency or whatsoever but also you know inform you guys or inform me you know I'm also a consumer about this kind of aspects of makeup and say you know what here uh, just wait for the sale I mean if you are not paid by the company it doesn't make a difference then if you just you know let your viewers know here wait until the sale comes around and buy it then but I give you a review right now because you know so that's that's fair that's fair you know to talk about this kind of stuff not always review 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 and say you know what here you buy it now buy it immediately you know and then uh, of course you get of high you know traction and um, the company also sees how you promote them and so on but I think it's just fair again just to say you know but here wait for the sale wait for the sale and then just buy it uh, you know so for example what was in um, one of the things um, yep yeah, was it Pat, Mac Pat McGrath? She had the palette out, you know, the decadence, and it was limited edition. But then she brought it back two times, three times, and then whenever she brought it out, you could get 10% discount. I mean, um, it's, I think she did that as well when she had this, you know, the sale or, you know, when she launched it for the first time. But I think I would, you know, I would say you, uh, it's, it's highly appreciated if somebody, for example, you know, gives you a hint and says, here, the, this, you know, this, um, is on sale right now but don't buy it you know the first time I mean 
especially you know the first time was like okay it's limited edition buy it buy it buy it buy it now you know and people were buying it of course but then you know i understand when the, she brings it out later on as a regular you know a, sta a staple item on her website uh, i understand also the disappointment of the people then you know so what else oops mm -hmm. Ach ja, what else? Sorry, I'm just a little bit right now focusing on the blending because blending is not my forte at this time. So, but I try to blend it a little bit so it's, you know, around the edges so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, I wish I had the live stream, seriously. Then, you know, at least to interact with you guys and see, you know, I mean, some of you leave really nice comments that's really highly appreciated, you know, if you leave nice comments. Um, I ha also deleted some comments because I was like, you know, especially under my shorts, I was like, oh, that's not necessary to, not to be insulting, but it's more more like, you know, juvenile comments. And I was like, I don't bother with those. Delete, delete, you know, whatever. Uh, in that regards, you know, because I, even if I put myself out, it doesn't mean, you know, you have to lash out and be rude. You know, so if you want to be rude, you know, just do it your, uh, I mean, what is it? Um, find another target. Just plain and simple, find another target. I'm not going to have it, you know, so, and also it shows, m you know, more about you than it shows about me, because if I leave the, that comment out, it shows what kind of, you know, person you are especially you know if you if you don't know how to behave i mean of course you know you get more let's say it like this if you are braver ah, ah okay i forgot to do the bronzer but anyway i will do it later on um if you are braver you know online because of anonymity and so on um uh, that shows m or tells more about your character because i have at least you know the guts to show my face you know, online in that sense and say, you know, say, speak my mind. If you cannot do that, then that's your problem and that shows what kind of person you are. And that's the comment about this. What else? Yeah, I know I need to also, do, um, you know, I'm jumping from one topic to the other, but um, just, oh, oops. I love it. I love it when everything spills. <laughs> I don't know if you have it as well. I mean, I'm not really, it is sometimes really annoying if something breaks and then you have to, you know, really try to scrape everything and, you know, clean it up, but well, it will be fine. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Oops, what else? I will go again over it with the blush because I really want to have a little bit of a darker blush at this moment. So I do, I go with the bronzer on top of it, but it will work out. Mm, and sometimes 
I know it looks a little bit muddy, but yeah. It is what it is. So, but I'm going to go over with a kabuki brush, so and then just you know, kind of mix it all together. Then it will look nicer. Even especially when you know when it looks like this, uh, and you're like, oh, it doesn't look nice. On photos, it can look nicer, nicer than it looks on you know on camera or on at the first glance. So don't worry about it. What I do is I actually use this kabuki brush from uh, Real Techniques. The only issue that I have with this brush is how to do the cleaning. I mean, of course, you can do the cleaning, but it's a little bit like, you know, it's really annoying because you have the metal here. I hope the metal is not rusting or something like that. So. Do, do, do. I went out actually to buy me some contact lenses because I want to use contact lenses more, especially when I'm doing, you know, um, get ready with me because I'm literally blind, you know. And the thing was, today I went to the optician, you know, just the local optician here around, and the lady sh said she doesn't have it, so she has to order it. And I was like, okay, you know, I need to, yeah, I need to wait until they have it in stock and then just, you know, get it then so I'm just using the eye brush because it's kind of big you know for my eye socket and so on I'm just using it as a kind of highlighter brush so and what else um, okay then Let's see what I will do next. I will actually do the powder. So, lipsticks and uh, yeah, lipstick and so on. I will apply later on, but for now, just oops. You see, it's a little bit. I'm doing a t tapping motion, not a, you know, buffing motion or, or because I just don't want to mix everything or have it, you know, spread out on my face. So I just do it like this and I have here the essence hairspray, no, hairspray, essence, essence, hairspray, <laughs> essence fixing spray, which has actually a nice pop. So, and just put it on. And that was my little get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have some comments, leave it down below. I see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.